welcome to what I have to say is one of the most amazing places ever. Um, I'm currently in the middle of Scotland in the, in the Cairngorms and this unbelievably is, is my back garden. Um, yeah, surrounded by coal tits. Did you hear that? That's a deer behind me. And red squirrels and as you can see down here there's a lovely brook so it's been the most amazing time. Um, if you're new to my channel my name is Simon and I'm a wildlife photographer from the UK. And what I would like to do today is just quickly talk to you about a product. Um, it's just a quick, it's not a review, I mean I pay for this myself. But what I want to talk about is when you come into, client, when you come into places where the climate is very changeable um, and Scotland is one of those places where it rains a lot, um, you need to be prepared and to protect your expensive equipment and not really um, you know, stop your day short because it's actually pouring rain because some of the best wildlife opportunities and the most atmospheric images could be captured when it's raining. And so this is it. This is this is the, the, bit, the rain cover that I use. It's by uh, Lens Coat and it's called the Lens Coat Raincoat Pro. Um, now I bought this myself. Is I'm not sponsored by Lens Coat at all. So this is bought this about three or four years ago now, and it goes everywhere with me. I take this. I use it all the time. Um, I also use it when I'm photographing by the sea to protect the camera from salt spray. But in Scotland it hasn't come off the camera really. Um, it's, we've had pretty nice weather at the, at the moment but today as you can see it's chucking it down with rain and the only reason I've come under the trees here is to protect the vlogging camera. So let me take you through the various things on this that make it quite unique to others. I mean there are lots of other brands out there. I particularly like the lens coat one. Uh, the pattern on this is the Real Tree Advantage Max, but I do know they do other patterns like the woodland ones and etc. So um, there's lots of choice out there, and this is the one I use in particular. But I thought I'd just demonstrate it today, just to show you that there are, you know, the importance of protecting your equipment, but also allowing you to carry on photographing those wonderful wildlife opportunities. So that's the. Uh, this is the rain cover that I use, as I said. Let me. Um, let me now give you a bit of a demonstration of how this thing goes together. So, first things first, let's just stop that from spinning. We have this cap here. Um, now I can't remember honestly whether this comes with it or not. I may have bought this separately. Um, you only get this bit with the coat, but I can't remember. So, um, yeah, apologies about that. Um, so, obviously I keep, you've seen these before, I keep these as lens protectors on the end here. These, just like, uh, these are also by Lens Coat. Um, but they're not part of the kit, they do buy these separately. Um, I quite like lens coat stuff. Um, so the way it comes together, so you basically it's in two sections. You've got this end section here, which is basically, you've got this um, little toggle here. And the whole thing velcros around like that, that comes off. Just stop this from spinning. And then you, on this section here you've got um, this is the main this is the main body essentially. You've got these velcro straps here. Let me spin it around so you can see the other side. You've got these velcros, yeah there's one here, velcro strap here. That basically velcros the whole thing to, to tighten up around the lens like that. So they come off. And then on the end here you've got this toggle here, there's another toggle here, just here. Now this basically tightens up around the camera body itself. So that all just pulls apart and there's the camera body and then the whole thing is then velcroed across the length so like that that all comes off like so and then finally you've got this section here where are we this section here which is tight around the lens hood and again that's just on a velcro so the whole thing just slides off like that revealing an unprotected lens. So that's that. So to put it on, it can be a little bit tricky. Um, it can be a bit of a pain. I tend to put it, I do always do it when it's on a tripod, so it's easier. Um, but basically, you, un, you, you obviously make sure it's un, un velcroed at the end. You tend to catch a bit. You slide it on. Let's say it's tricky, it just catches on bits on the camera, that's all. It's not difficult. And then goes over the end like that you then obviously velcro the underneath together around the actual lens itself this bit here is the velcro tag this then tightens up around your lens hood I'll just show you that on the other side 
Where are we? Just there. So they've got this Velcro tag here. This just tightens up just there like that. And then these ones here just tighten up around the lens like so. Clipping it on the end. And then you obviously got the uh, camera end here. Um, so you just complete that by Velcroing it underneath and then pulling it tight like that. So, and that's it really. That's it installed. Um, you're all now fully protected. That's that section. Then what you've got then is this final um, section here, which is really for the um, for the lens hood. And it's got two ends. I think the proper way of doing it is have this toggle on the end here, um, so you can tighten it up around the end of the lens hood. I don't use it that way. I actually switch it around, so I think it's better the other way. Um, so that goes on there like that. And then you've got this Velcro here, which then just essentially tighten it up flush to the end of your lens hood and then this toggle here just tightens up just pull everything tight and that's one very well protected lens and camera so what I really like about this uh, this version of a rain cover is this pocket on the side I don't know if you can see that on camera but it has a little velcro attachment there and inside there uh, is this waterproof sleeve which comes out the side here and you can see that that's the best way to put it like that yep um, and that allows you to basically to put your arm up inside here you can tighten it around your sleeve if the weather's you know really really bad um, but it allows you to sort of keep your camera covered up in here and operate the camera without exposing the camera to the rain so this is really good and this is what I liked about that about this 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 version of it um, I'm sure there are other brands out there that do a similar thing but um, yeah, I've had this, I say, for about four years now, and I think they brought another version out where there is another sleeve on the other side, but I, I haven't got that copy, so. Um, yeah, and then it'll, when you want to pack it away and it's dry, just tuck that back inside and uh, close it back up again. And that's it, a very short, sharp video. Um, thanks for all the continued comments uh, and support you give me through on social media. Uh, I really do, I so, so appreciate it, I can't explain how much I appreciate getting all your emails and the comments that you leave me, so thank you so much for that and thank you for helping my channel grow, um, it really is, uh, I really I really enjoy doing it, sometimes I find it difficult to find the time to do it and I feel a bit bad for not releasing videos very often, but I really am committed to the channel growing and uh, yeah, I, I really do appreciate all the feedback you give me. And I'll leave you now with some B-roll and some footage of, of, the, of this piece of equipment and the wonderful surroundings I'm currently sitting in, plus all the midges I'm currently surrounded by. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.